In this video, we'll review how system administrators enforce their user login with either their organization's ID or a federated ID. This can be a huge help in making sure users don't log into Creative Cloud with the wrong user ID. A few notes before we start. Multiple domains are not supported on one device, and applications accessed via a web browser or mobile app will still require the user to log in with the correct identity type. Also, double check that you have already claimed a domain and set up the single sign on for your Adobe Creative Cloud licenses on the admin console. And that you're ready to restrict users to a federated ID sign in on your company owned devices. With that out of the way, let's continue. First, let's go over how the process works on a Windows device. We'll cover Mac OS devices in a moment. As you can see, when a user is asked to log in, they're given different sign-in options, such as an email address or a social sign-in like Google or Facebook. Our goal is to eliminate these options and enforce a single sign-on for users when using enterprise devices. To do so, let's hop into the Windows Registry Editor. You can access it by hitting the Start menu, typing in RegEdit, right-clicking the app listing and selecting Run as Administrator. This will allow us to make changes to the Windows Registry. In the Windows Registry, we'll navigate to hkey underscore local underscore machine, then Software, then Policies, and finally Adobe. Right-click on Adobe and we'll create a new key. Let's rename this key NGL. Now, right-click on the NGL key and create a new key called Auth Info. Inside of Auth Info, we'll need to create a new string value by right-clicking the blank space under Default, selecting New, and then String Value. This string value will be called Login Underscore Domain. Double-click on Login Underscore Domain and enter in your previously claimed domain under Value Data. Take a moment to make sure it's spelled correctly, and then click OK. Now, when I reboot my device and relaunch the Creative Cloud app, the app directs me to my organization sign-on page without giving me the option of any other sign-on. For Mac OS, we'll first want to navigate to the Knowledge Base article for device authentication mentioned earlier and linked on this page. Here, you'll find the steps needed as well as the code necessary to create a new plist file. To create this new plist file, you'll need to use a program such as Xcode, Terminal, or any other coding software you like to use. Copy and paste this block of code from the HelpX article into the application, adding in the name of your claim domain at this point here, between these two angled brackets. Save your new plist file to this location on the device, in the Preferences folder in the library, and then reboot the device. Now, the next time I launch the Creative Cloud app, it's going to take me directly to my identity provider and limit my sign-in options. And remember, this method will not work for multiple domains on one device or work outside of the Creative Cloud desktop application. We hope this demo has been helpful. If you have any difficulties or issues, feel free to learn more at helpx.adobe.com or reach out and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.